Hi, welcome to the fourth video in the recall series. In this video we're going to add distance. So we've gone from a short lead to a standard lead. In the third one we added distractions. In this one we're adding length. So I've connected a 10 foot lead uh, rope to this standard lead. So we've got 15, 16 feet we're working in here. Everything else stays the same. The things to be aware of here is your dog has much more room for error. This is why I like to start on a short and then and move it up. So at this point I'm hoping the dog's got very good control. So keep an eye and make sure you use that rope to bring him back in or her back in on the line that you want. It's the same thing. I, I like to do this static and moving. So I just come out. Your dog's got to sit stay. It'll stay there. So it's not a big problem. Okay, Koji, to me. Yes. Good. Now just feed that line in just in case the dog moves off with me. Good boy. Come on. Good. So I'll do a few from the static. Koji, to me. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So again, as you can see, you know, he very clearly understands the, the, the command and, and has done since um, the first lesson. Teaching recall isn't difficult. As I said very early in the piece, recall itself, the command isn't difficult. It's overriding all the other things, and that's mainly distractions and distance. That's the big thing. So again, we just get towards the end of this lead. Koji, to me. Yes. Good boy. Good. Yes. Now, this is an ideal because, as I say, it should be distraction-free. But we're on a cattle station and um, in the middle of the outback so we've got continually have wild animals um, if it's not cattle that you can see or here there's all the wild animals so there's a bunch of feral goats just outside the fence there and there's generally always kangaroo or you know there's something going around so it's never really distraction free but that's what this guy's used to with us and, and our other dogs when they were pumps there was always distractions around so generally you want this distraction free alright so now that I've done it and I might try and use these guys as distraction it's not ideal to have the distractions straight away but because they're there It'll allow me just to get straight to the end. So it's the same thing. I'm here. It's going to be more difficult because remember this is his first lesson at this length. Um, but this is what this is for. Koji, to me. Yes, good boy. Good. I'll give him a few extra treats just because I didn't have to use any correction on him at all. You couldn't ask for much more for a first lesson with that type of distraction happening. Koji, to me, yes, good boy. And good boy. This is one of the reasons I absolutely adore this dog. He just wants to please. Good boy, friend. So again, he's got all these distractions out there. This is his very first lesson. Come on. Here you go, three. Koji, to me. Yes. And he knows what I'm going to ask him. And he just really wants to do it. Good boy. Come on. He just really wants to do it. 
um, because he just really wants to please. Good boy. So as you can see, the principles are the same. The concept's the same. The only difference here is I've got a longer lead. And I just keep using this now until it's 100%. Until I'm absolutely sure he has this length down. After this, what we'll do again is add distractions again. And uh, I'm not sure how I beat that out here in the middle of nowhere. But we add distractions and we call him off distractions. And then we add more length to it. Alright, until next time. Thank you.